dead water. Okay, we're gonna address this big statement that a lot of companies say out there. We're gonna talk about dead water so you can understand what that really means. Uh, first of all, as you know, if you love our video, if you uh, like what we do, please press like, please share this with your friends, and of course, subscribe to our channel. Uh, down below is also a link to Angel Water should you wanna reach out to us for any needs. Now, dead water, what does that mean? It means the water droplet has nothing attached to it. Yes, zero, nothing added to the water. Now, a lot of people say that a lot of companies out there have been touting this as a way to influence people to buy their filter system. Why? Because a regular carbon filter, that's what this is. Look at that, that's all it is, is carbon in there. Water passing through carbon, just like your, your refrigerator filter, or let's call it a, a pure or a, you know, um, a uh, Brita filter. It runs water through carbon, and carbon makes the water taste good. So of course, yeah, that would make you think it tastes better than tap water, it's doing something, but no, it's not certified to take out toxins. What I want to stress is that, yes, reverse osmosis takes everything off the water droplet. A good certified system, that would be National Sanitation Foundation, NSF 58, is going to take everything off to the water droplet, including the rock, by the way. That is what's termed dead water. When there's no rock or calcium added to the water, there's nothing on there, then it's considered dead water. But yeah, people say without the rock, which is dead, <laughs> no rock, they're saying dead water. So it's like a play on words, but it's their way of trying to scare you away from reverse osmosis because here's the deal. A good company in America today will not only sell you an RO, reverse osmosis, that's NSF 58 certified, that takes everything out, they'll also add calcium and magnesium back to the water. Thus, we have the mineral that you're looking for, right? The thing that everyone says, that these companies say, oh, you don't wanna have. So, what I wanted to make sure is that you understood that it's a necessary evil. Yes, we take off the rock with an RO, but then calcium and magnesium can be added on with a calcite filter. Now, just so you know, you wanna learn a little tip. Here's a great little tip from Dr. Barbara O'Neill in Australia. Now, what she's taught me was fantastic. Celtic salt, right? Celtic salt has 82 minerals to it. So if you really want the body to be mineralized, here's what you can do. A little pinch of Celtic salt on your tongue, and then you drink your water. Let it dissolve, because it's large pieces, but uh, let it dissolve or crush it in your mouth, and make sure it dissolves, because what happens is the cell opens up, and three magnesium penetrate the cell, and guess what? They draw the water droplet into your body. Remember, we are trillions and trillions of cells. So the best thing we wanna do is hydrate that, right? Well, how do we do that? Magnesium, it's critical. There is 82 minerals in Celtic salt. Yes, I mean, in the ocean, there is something like, uh, I think around 60 minerals in the ocean. That said, what we're looking for is Celtic salt to be able to bring more minerals into the body. So don't get fooled by the systems that people have where they can't purify or reverse osmosis the water. You uh, rely on the fact that we want to be able to take everything off and then add that calcium and magnesium back whether you use a filter or you use Celtic salt. As you know if you like this video please click like, share it with your friends and family and check out our website because our link does get you to our site. Uh, as you know my name is Drew. I'm here to serve you.